Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today I have a very easy do-it-yourself project and I'm sure you guys are gonna love it. I've been working on this for a little while researching you know the science and whatever behind it and it's super easy uh, and all the the things uh, you can find at your house. So the first and probably the hardest thing for you for you to get is is a car battery charger like a 12 volt uh, probably 10 amps at least but if not, you can replicate the process using a 9, nine volt battery. Uh, but it's going to take you a little bit longer if you use a 9 volt battery. With the car battery charger, is the probably the best results. Next, you'll need water, preferably distilled. If not, regular water is fine. And uh, some salt. So, super easy. Let me show you how that mixture is made. The ingredients are simply a half a cup of water and then one tablespoon of this is just table salt so this is a one tablespoon or three teaspoons there's not a specific science to this guys it doesn't have to be perfect just make sure that you mix it pretty well and as you guys can see that mixture is too easy to make so the next thing what we need is the target source uh, so I actually just finished doing this machete and I'll show you the video how I'm making the machete uh, I had two two target sources I had the steel machete and I had this aluminum block I kind of had a learning curve and I discovered that protected surfaces this is anodized so a protected surface like that doesn't really pass electricity through it so you get nothing so this was a dud so ignore that but you know this is just a learning curve but the metal guys it turned out really great I don't know if you can see that but I was able to put KGB on the side of this machete and it's something super simple so our power supply is this 10 amp 12 volt car battery charger and it has the simple alligator clips over there I turned on the power supply and the first thing that we're gonna do is I have some rubbing alcohol I wet a piece of towel with it and I'm gonna prepare the, the things that I want to uh, etch. So I want to do this edge right here. I'm going to wipe it. See some of it, some of the dust came off right here. And then I'm going to let it dry. And we don't want to touch this because we want it to air out and we don't want to get any uh, oils or anything else on that target. I also have my machete and I'm going to clean it up as well. The reason I'm outside is because I want it to be uh, well ventilated because I don't want to breathe any of the, the fumes coming off of it. We have our salt water solution right here and what I'm going to do is I'll be using these stencils. I'm not an artist and I definitely, <laughs> I definitely am not that neat so I'm going to rely on these uh, vinyl stencils. I'm going to put KGB on it just something rough like that and take some electrician's tape and all the areas I don't want to get etched I'm gonna mark it so this is ready and so is this so I'm gonna take my positive end and connect it to the machete directly like that and then I'm gonna take my negative contact and put the Q-tip very carefully onto it. I've dipped, I've dipped it into the salt water solution and touching the, uh, the solution like this, I'm going to very carefully start etching. You guys can't hear this, but it's sizzling a little bit right now. And we just wanna be very diligent and go over it like this. Oh yeah, it's sizzling like steak. And notice it becomes black. When that happens, you need to get a new Q-tip because that's the actual metal being burnt onto the Q-tip. I 
After about 10 to 15 minutes, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and remove the stencil and the tape and see what, what's going on. I noticed that one of my letters, the stencil got unglued and the salt water started getting underneath the stencil, which means it's going to not look uh, as clear as I wanted it to. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the tape. Let me get a brush and I'll clean it up. Pretty nice, right? Let me see if I can get kind of like a better angle. But this, guys, is actually pretty deep. And I like that. That's legit. So, guys, go ahead and tell me what you think in the comments down below. Go ahead and like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And check out my Instagram page. At KGB Survivalist. But, yeah. Guys, this is a super easy project. And I'm sure any one of you guys can do it. It's too easy. Okay guys, I'll enjoy seeing you next time. Пока-пока.